Welcome to Sabi the Happy Cook. Today we would be making easy and simple gunto chili chicken. It's nice and spicy and creamy. So let's move on quickly and see what are the ingredients that we need. We need 1 kg skinless chicken cut in medium sized pieces. 3 large onions which are finely chopped. 3 green chilies which are roughly chopped. 2 sprigs of curry leaves. Then for the masala paste we would need 2 inch piece of ginger roughly chopped. Pods of 1 head of garlic. 1 teaspoon peppercorns. 1 teaspoon cumin seeds. 2 teaspoon of coriander seeds. 10 gunto chilies, 4 Kashmiri chilies. Then I have 12 cashews here which are soaked in water which makes it easy for grinding. An inch piece of cinnamon, 3 cloves, 2 pods of cardamom. Salt to taste, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and oil to cook the dish. So now let's move on to dry roasting the dry spices. I will roast them until they are fragrant, cool them down and then transfer them to a mixer grinder, blend them along with the cashews, the garlic and the ginger. Blend them to a fine smooth paste. Now moving on to cooking the chicken, here I have 2 tablespoons of oil heating up, toss in the curry leaves and the green chilies. And then I will be adding the onions. Saute them. Saute them well because I need a nice good caramelization around it. So to caramelize them faster, add a teaspoon of salt and very patiently saute them until they start to look like this. That's when you would be adding the curry paste. Don't waste any of the curry paste. Add some water into the blender and add it to the pan. Keep sauteing it until it looks something like this. And that's when you add the chicken. Mix it well. Increase the flame to high and saute it for a minute. I've not added any salt at this point, I'm just sorting it. Now add salt. Adding very little water just to get everything combined. Now what I would be doing is we'd be covering it and cooking it for 20 minutes. I'd also check it in the middle at around the 10 minute mark just to move around the bigger pieces so that it cooks evenly. It's coming together really well. I just need to give it another 10 minutes until it cooks through, especially the larger pieces. I like to keep the bigger pieces in the center of the pan so that it gets more heat. Now I'll cover it and cook it for 10 more minutes. After the 10 minute mark, wow, this is how it looks. The oil's floating on top, it smells great here. The chicken's cooked through. The gravy consistency looks good too. It's perfect for chapatis or rotis. But since I wanted it semi-dry, I'm going to keep this on high flame for two to three minutes until it thickens up, like that. I'm going to switch off the flame now and season it with some coconut oil and some curry leaves. Saute it for a minute. Oh, a bit of plum wine there. And now add it to the chicken. Your Kunto chili chicken is now ready. Look at that, so easy and simple gunto chili chicken. Spicy because of the use of gunto chilies, creamy because of the cashews, goes great with dal rice, summer rice and easy addition to your midweek meals. If you try it, please do let me know in the comment section below. Please like, comment, share and subscribe the video. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, stay safe, stay happy.